Hello everyone, so now we are going to have another topic and it's still included in summarizing. And this time around, we are going to know steps in summarizing. So we are done with what is summarizing and what are the techniques in summarizing and what are included and excluded in summarizing. Now we are down to techniques, uh, not techniques, but steps in summarizing. So allow me to share my screen to you. So here it goes. So steps in summarizing texts. One way to summarize the text is to use previewing or pre-reading techniques, which can help you comprehend the contents even before close reading. So for you to be able to have a grasp on what is that text all about, you can do the previewing, like the scheme, skimming on the important parts. And here are the techniques which you can use to summarize a text. Now, once you read a text, you can now identify and include the title in the offer. That's the first step. And then include the author's thesis statement in the first two sentences. So basically, after the title and the author, you will have the thesis statement. What is a thesis statement? It's the overall concept. What is the text all about? Another is write one or two sentences per main concept or idea in a text one or two sentences only. So you need to have a condensed content. Like in maybe one paragraph can be condensed into one or two sentences only. If it is needed, divide the text into parts or by main ideas before summarizing the whole. If you can still remember the outlining, you can do this one before you do the summarizing. Wherein you can now organize the main concepts into different categories and then you will come up with a condensed uh, words to be used in those particular uh, arguments or concepts. Remember to omit the details which are not important. There is no need to go into the minor and supporting details of the text. Simply put, omit examples, unnecessary lines that can be gone without, with, without those words. Avoid or writing additional opinions about a text. Basically, summarizing is simply putting into your own words what is the content of that particular text without the use of the original word from the author. So basically, there is no room for opinions whatsoever or your reaction because, as being said, this is a summary of the content of that particular text and it shouldn't be diluted with your own opinion. Another is avoid plagiarism of the author's work. Include quotation if you are directly quoting the writer. So basically, if you need to have this specific word because it, it, it cannot be translated or it cannot be reworded because it's a technical and a very important term you can do so but with those words that can be reworded you have to do it to avoid plagiarism so here is an example this is the original text i would like you to look at the uh, the picture of this one and this is yeah the summarized text. If you are going to look at this one, the summarized text, you were able to see that it is more condensed. I mean, lesser words being used in here because you have a method like the examples and you have here the important concepts such as, uh, such as the when and where, and then the, the, the thesis statement and so on. And the main argument of this particular text. So basically, this a summarized text is more condensed, meaning to say it is being compressed into those words that are relevant for that particular text. Remember, leave out the details which would make the summary longer than it essentially should be. Details such as examples, those words that are not so important. Right, so I guess that's it for our uh, steps 
in summarizing and you have already the examples so i hope you you can manage to understand on the different steps in summarizing since we will be doing an activity for that one All right so thank you so much and i believe uh, this is the second to the last topic for our unit three. So I'll be seeing you in one more topic. So feel free to ask any questions in the comment section where this video will be posted. Thank you so much.